Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking all things anti-aging, like an ultimate rundown of the steps and ingredients you need in your skincare routine if you're serious about tackling those fine lines and wrinkles, that loss of firmness and elasticity, and some of that discoloration and hyperpigmentation that seems to happen to all of our skins as we age. I kind of mean this video to be uh, beneficial for two groups of people. If you're totally new to skincare and you want your skincare to be focused on anti-aging, then this is a video for you that kind of has it as an all-in-one guide. If, like me, you might be experienced with your skincare, you already have a locked-in, nailed routine, then I'd treat this video almost like a checklist or a little tick box exercise to go through and make sure that you're not missing out on any crucial steps. So hopefully in this video I've got something for everyone and I'll also be sharing some of my favourite, favourite products. So let's see back, relax, and talk all things anti-aging skincare. Now, I know there's a whole host of controversy around the term anti-aging. People call it out as a bit negative, you know, it's anti-something. I get all that, I do hear all that, but because it's the term we most commonly use and that brands most commonly use, and it is the one that's most discussed online, it's what I'm going to be talking through today. However, just full disclaimer, I am not anti-aging. I mean, I look back to how my skin was in my teens and I wouldn't want to go back there. I am more more than happy with my skin in my mid-30s than I have been at any point in my skincare journey. So absolutely, I am not anti-aging. I think a lot of things improve as we get older. Certainly our understanding of skincare and you know, putting aside the apricot scrub and looking towards some really good beneficial skincare products. So our knowledge, our understanding and our skin matures as we age. I think we should celebrate that. This video is all about kind of a embracing what we have and getting the most out of our skin. If you do want to reset the clock, turn back time a little bit, huge share fan, so I couldn't, couldn't do without getting that reference in there, then also there'll be something in this video for you. There are so many things which can cause aging in our skin, and unfortunately, most of them are out of our control. Things such as genetics we're born with, and there's very little that we can do to manipulate that through time. However, there are a couple of things which we can change, and I'm going to double down hard on them in this video today, because I really believe we should be sweating the stuff that we can't change, but instead we should focus all our energy and our attention on the things that we can actually alter and make difference on. So that's going to be the focus of this video today, most specifically on the levels of collagen and elastin in our skin. Both of these decrease over time and that leads to a loss of firmness, elasticity and snapback in our skin. And there's definitely things we can do in our routine to maintain those healthy collagen levels. We're also going to focus down on sun-induced aging because again that's something that's really within our power to protect our skin against and one of the leading contributors to aging in our skin. So all of the products that I'm going to mention today are linked below. If you do want to check them out in more detail, click on the links read the reviews, all the ingredients, they're all there. But let's cut the waffle and jump straight on into it with what I think is the most important step if you're talking about anti-aging, and that is your retinoids. So retinoids, retinals, retinols, they're all vitamin A derivatives, and they are one of the key ingredients to include in your skincare routine if you're serious about anti-aging. The reason for this is, A, they boost collagen production in the skin, which is great. We talked about collagen being the thing that gives our skin firmness, elasticity, and snapback. So if you feel that your skin maybe has started seeing the first signs of fine lines and wrinkles and a little bit of sagging around the jawline, then um, including a retinol in your routine could really help. Also increases cellular turnover. Unfortunately, as our skin ages, our rate of cellular turnover decreases, and so we tend to hang on to those dead skin cells a little bit longer than we need to. That can lead to some dullness and lack of luminosity in the skin, and including a retinol will really help with that. Scientific studies have shown that retinoids are one of the few ingredients in our skincare routine that can actually reverse the signs of aging. So we're not talking about stopping in its tracks or preventing future aging. We're actually talking about reversing the accumulated aging that's also happening. Happened. This is why when people often say to me, when should I start my anti-aging skincare routine? I always say in your 20s is absolutely the best time because prevention is so much easier than curing something. But even if you've left it to your 40s, 50s, 60s or beyond, it's still never too late because including a retinoid in your skincare routine will help to reverse the signs of any aging which has also been accumulated. I would recommend everybody include a retinoid in their skincare routine, but finding the right strength can be really hard. Luckily, I've got you covered and I left it in a video which I'll leave a link to up there, working out which are the best products for you um, based on your skin's levels of sensitivity, hydration, and all of that. So check out that video because it's too much detail for me to go in in this specific video, but finding the right one for you, and there is one out there for everyone, will be game-changing for your anti-aging routine. The one I'm reaching for at the moment, this is the A Game by Geek and Gorgeous. This is quite a high-strength retinal, and this delivers absolutely sensational benefits, particularly for people that are experiencing the first fine lines and wrinkles, like I was maybe a year ago. This has really, really helped. 
But check out that video for some more great recommendations because retinoids are the first step in your anti-aging routine. Now, with retinoids, we talked about increasing the rate of cellular turnover, you know, preventing our skin clinging onto and hanging onto those dead skin cells for too long. Another great way of increasing this is through exfoliation. And so alongside having your um, retinoid in your routine, absolutely a must for a good anti-aging skincare routine is an exfoliator. Again, like I said with retinoids, it's important to match your exfoliator choice to your skin type, but there is one out there for every single person. They'll work by just sloughing off and removing that top layer of dead skin cells, which will make fine lines and wrinkles appear more diminished, but also it'll bring back that luminosity, that vibrancy to our complexion that we can sometimes feel we lose as we age. They'll also help over time with any discoloration or hyperpigmentation, because again, they're increasing the rate that you're removing that from the skin and there's some other things we're going to come on to later in the video that'll help suppress that hyperpigmentation being reformed. I love, love, love a good exfoliator, but choosing the right one's really important. Some of the basics I go for is if you have drier skin, and our skin does sometimes dry as we age, then our lactic acid will be a great option. Really good strength, but it's also hydrating at the same time. So if you have dry or combination dry skin, I would reach for a lactic acid, which is absolutely stunning. This is the one by The Ordinary, but there's so, so many out there. If you are very sensitive, you have the most sensitive skin out there and you feel that there's no exfoliating acid that could work for you, I'd honestly try this. This is the Stratia um, Soft Touch AHA. This is mandelic acid, and mandelic acid is so, so gentle. It's got a huge molecule size, so it does a much more superficial exfoliation, and doesn't go too deep into the skin to cause any irritation or sensitivity. I love this one, and I say this is a great option for people that may be a little bit worried or wary of exfoliating acids, but want to include one in their routine. This could be a go-to. For people that kind of want it all, you want everything, you want maximum strength, but you also want a little bit of hydration as well, and you want something that's just gonna deliver those quick and amazing results, then this is a fantastic option. This is the glycolaxal solution by Face Theory. I love this, but this is a beautiful blend of salicylic acid, lactic acid, glycolic acid. It kind of does it all. It's really affordable as well, as are most of the recommendations um, I'm proposing today. Such a great option for people that want high strength, high efficacy, and just want a product that does it all. This is the exfoliator I will go to. Now let's talk peptides. I love, love, love peptides, and I think they're so important in an anti-aging skincare routine. That's because they have more than one purpose. They help to support and with the production of collagen, so the body will naturally be able to produce more collagen. It also stimulates the body to produce that collagen, which is great, so it kind of works in a double action effect. They can also help to hydrate the skin, which is fantastic, because again, I said as we age, our skin tends to be on the drier side, and also they can help to um, brighten the skin and even out any pigment in our skin. Such a great, great tool, and there's definitely, again, ones out there which will deliver great benefit without actually having to break the bank. I covered a whole host of peptides and how to use them because I think there's a lot of concern about including them in a routine in a separate video. So I'm going to leave a link to that up there. Check that out if you're worried about how to include a peptide in your routine. And there's some fantastic, fantastic recommendations. I always reach for these two, the Azure Align Solution by The Ordinary and the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. Both really affordable and work wonders in terms of anti-aging and tackling those fine lines and wrinkles. So I'd recommend these personally, but check out that video for some other recommendations and how to really work them into your skincare routine. Now I feel we've covered the peptides, the retinoids, and of course the exfoliators. They're all gonna help to increase cellular turnover, increase the rate of collagen and elastin production in our skin. So they're all targeting um, increasing the rate of firmness and elasticity. However, we said that's only one part of um, the equation and actually you also need to protect your skin against the harmful rays of the sun. I don't think there's any other more significant contributing factor to aging skin than sun exposure, and so an SPF is an absolute must. We get so, so het up on choosing the right one. It almost zaps the fun out of your skincare routine, and I think skincare should be self-care. It should be fun. I pulled together um, a list of my favorite SPFs because I think matching it to your skin type is crucial. You want one that works in synergy with your skin. It doesn't dry you out or doesn't irritate you or doesn't leave you too greasy or acne prone. You need one that really works in synergy with your skin so you want to use it day in day out. I'm going to leave a link to a video of some great recommendations up there but the one that I'm reaching for at the moment this is the Make Prem UV Defense 
recently. This is great for people that have um, very oily or acne prone skin like myself. I'm suffering with aging and acne. It's a whole host of horrors going on at the moment. And so actually this is a really great option. This isn't probably gonna work for people that have very dry skin because it might be a bit too mattifying. So in that video, I've got some really great tried, tested and verified options for those of you that do have dry skin types. But I'd say an SPF kind of almost it seems like it's a given but so many people still don't use an SPF because they haven't found one that they like. Check out that video and make sure you match it to your skin type to get the maximum benefits and treat it as an enjoyable product. They don't need to be those thick, gloopy, awful to apply sunscreens we used to use. They can be an enjoyable part of our skincare routine. Finally, I'm calling out antioxidants. Now, I always say that SPF is only actually half the battle. When we talk about protecting our skin from the sun, we always gravitate towards the SPF and that's like the first step. But it's only really giving you half of the benefit and I think pairing it with an antioxidant is the way to just double down and lock in that protection. Antioxidants work in a multitude of ways but they kind of see them as little Pac-Men that when they see something which is going to cause oxidative stress in our skin, potentially damaging our cellular structure or causing inflammation, they go up to it, they gobble it up and they encase it before it can do any damage. Things that cause oxidative stress could be the UV rays but also pollution, particulate matter and certain wavelengths of light such as blue light. All these things can stress out our skin, cause inflammation and cause premature aging. So I would definitely recommend everybody include an antioxidant in their skincare routine. I did a poll on the channel asking whether people did actually um, use an antioxidant. I was so, so pleased to see that around 70% of people do incorporate one in their skincare routine. So I think a lot of us have really got on the antioxidant bandwagon in the past couple of years. I'm a full, full convert. The one I use is the Neod Survival. This is gorgeous. It's got 15 different antioxidants all um, merged into one. So it works in 15 different ways. This is a bit on the pricey side, so it's not for everyone. And I say, don't let price put you off because if you are on a budget or you want to keep the cost of your skincare low, reach for something like a Q10 serum. The Inculus Q10 is a game changing antioxidant and costs around £5, $7. So they don't need to break the bank and they can add so much benefit. So if you're still one of those 30% that's holding out and doesn't have an antioxidant in your skincare routine, I've left some of my favorite recommendations below. But I'd start with something super affordable like um, the Inculus Q10 serum or the Ordinary Pycnogenol, both of which are great and won't break the bank. But if you want to go super bougie, super extra, then the Neo Survival is where it's at. So there you have it, guys. The ultimate guide to anti-aging skincare. These are the core ingredients and steps that you must have in your skincare routine if you're serious about tackling those fine lines and wrinkles and bringing back that firmness and elasticity to the skin. Of course, this is just like the basics. You can add anything you want on top of this. If you want to add a pigment corrector, an azelaic acid, your cleanser you'll want to include, and maybe a moisturizer if you have that dry or dehydrated skin, be my guest. I like to see this as just like the minimum tick list. These are the things that you must have for your anti-aging, and then you can add anything else that you want beyond that. I'd love to know your own thoughts and feelings and recommendations that you have for any of these steps, so leave them in the comments below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, whatever your age, I'm sending you so, so much love, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.